Hi guys, I wanted to go over day seven of Thirsty by Jamie Morgan. Day seven is Thirsty for Repentance. God never tires of your voice asking for mercy. Repent was the first word John the Baptist spoke in his forerunner ministry. We see this in Matthew 3, 2. It was the first word of Jesus in his public ministry. This is from Matthew 4, 17. And it remains an elementary doctrine of Christ, we know from Hebrews 6, 1. In five out of the seven letters to the churches in Revelation, Jesus tells the churches to repent. This is in Revelation 2 and Revelation 3. To repent means to turn away from sin by doing a spiritual about-face or making a 180-degree change of direction. There are five steps of the process of repentance. Number one, take your sin before the Lord. Lay it all out before Him. He already knows, but do it anyway. Pour your heart out before the Almighty God. Share your heartfelt desire to receive his kingdom from the sin that binds. Tell God you want nothing to get in the way of intimacy with him. From experiencing personal revival, communicate your love for him. Number two, ask God to give you godly sorrow. Because when we sin, we sin against God and God alone. Hurting God should cause us to grieve over sin when it doesn't, something is spiritually wrong. Number three, ask for forgiveness. Tell God you're sorry for turning to idols instead of running to him. Pour your grief out to him for desiring the things of this world more than you desire him, for loving your sin more than you love him. Ask him to forgive you for repetitively crying out for mercy, but with absolutely no intention of laying down your sin. Number five, number four, turn away from your sin. When we repent, we turn away from our sin, never looking back. There's nothing to go back to but pain, misery, and death. And number five, ask God for restoration. Sin leads to death, death of relationships, mental and physical health, finances, dreams, hopes, peace, and our relationship with God. The great restorer wants to restore all that was stolen. Restoration is always God's end goal. Ask him to repair and rebuild the effect that sin had on your life. Ask him for personal revival.